64 AD, the Emperor Nero has unleashed his fury against the Christians. Their crime? Proclaiming a king higher than Caesar. Setting fire to the city, Nero places the blame on the Christians and launches a new campaign to wipe them out. Families are separated, children left homeless, as thousands are sold into slavery or thrown to the lions. Escaping the panic of the fire and dodging the advancing soldiers, a group of children find shelter in the gentle care of Ben and Helena, a local baker and his wife. Here, the children discover an amazing secret network of daring men and women who risk their lives to help one another and to tell the stories of the great storyteller, the one called Jesus. And so, awaiting the day when their parents will return, Anna, Cyrus, Justin, and Marcus embark on the adventure of a lifetime, together with Ben, Helena, and their friends in the Christian underground. Their mission, to keep the stories of Jesus alive. This is their story. They are the Story Keepers. As Nero's brutal push to capture the leaders of the Christian underground intensifies, Ben and his family flee into the catacombs beneath Rome. Filled with rage, Nihilus vows to find them. Find him! As Ben, joined by scores of Christian fugitives, plans a daring escape to freedom. Sir, the Christians caved the tunnels in behind them. I don't want excuses. What are you looking at? Well done, Capella. There'll be no escape this time. Excellent work, everyone. Another hour and we'll break for a meal. Ben? How much longer do we have to stay down here? Just five more days, Marcus. Then Salim's boat will take us to our new life in Shemadar. What's in Shemadar? Freedom, Marcus. Freedom. It's an oasis that sparkles like a jewel in the desert. It's a place where the Romans aren't in charge. And because travelers come from all over to meet and trade, from Shemadar, we can take our stories to the whole world. Would you like that? <laughs> ben, come see our new defense system. You just pull this rope and the boulder rolls down, blocking our escape tunnel from any intruders. Excellent work, Zach. Uh, say, have you seen Justin? Right over there. Ah, uh, Justin, I've been looking for you. <sighs> just finishing up, Ben. You know, your 13th birthday isn't far off. I think you're ready to take on an important new job. Really? What is it? A courier? A scout? A spy? It's all of those. A courier because you're delivering something very important. A scout because you're taking people into new territory. A spy because it must be done in secret and at great risk. What is it, Ben? I'd like you to tell the story at tonight's meeting. You want me to tell a story? Why not? You're one of the best students I've ever had. You know these stories backwards and forwards. But not well enough to tell them to everyone. Why can't you tell the story? I could, but there may come a time when I can't. If the stories of Jesus are to be passed on, then all of us must become story keepers. 
Justin, you've told me these stories lots of times. That's different, Marcus. You're my brother. Justin? What's he doing up there? Is he lost? I just I, uh... Justin. Justin! Uh, I guess uh, Justin wasn't quite ready here. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, neither were the disciples when Jesus said one of them would betray him. Justin, it's all right. But I let Ben down. He understands. You're just not ready, that's all. I'll never be ready. You sound just like Ben when he started out. You know, the first time he told a story, he was shaking so badly I thought we were having an earthquake. <laughs> really? Come on, let's go back and listen. As Jesus and the disciples walked up the Hill of Olives, Jesus turned to Peter and said, Before the rooster crows twice tomorrow, you will say three times that you don't even know me. I'll die before I betray you. I'll never let you down. Nor I. We'll stay with you no matter what. No matter what. They walked until they reached a garden called Gethsemane. Sit here until I've prayed. Telling the others to stay, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him into the garden. But what's wrong, Master? I'm brokenhearted. My soul is full of grief. Stay here and keep watch. Abba, Father, you can do anything. Don't let me go through this terrible suffering. If it is possible, rescue me. But I will do what you want, not what I want. The man I kiss is the one you want. Arrest him and guard him closely when you take him away. Sleep? Couldn't you keep awake? Keep awake and keep praying. I know you want to help me, but you're just not strong enough. Are you still sleeping? The time has come. He's here. Get up. Let's go. The one who betrays me is here. Rabbi. The disciples huh? couldn't understand why Jesus did not try to escape. Stop. Did you have to come armed with swords and clubs? Take me like a common criminal? I spoke day after day in the temple in front of everyone. You didn't arrest me then. And then they led him away, out of the garden. Don't worry, Justin. You'll tell the story next time. Hmm. After the men! Remember, Nihilus wants them alive! Keep moving to the next candle. Over there. Now, Ben. Justin, come on! Hurry, it's not going to hold! Oh, 
<laughs> well, if it isn't Ben the Baker, so nice to meet you at last. Imagine, one of the Christian underground leaders, a baker. Maybe now the bread in the dungeons will improve. <laughs> Lark's tongue, Senator. <laughs> These tongues are unevenly glazed. Who sent you out with this tray? Helena, thank God you're all right. I'm so glad you came. I promised Ben I would if ever he were in trouble. Is there any word of him? I'm afraid he's in Nero's darkest, most guarded prison. There's no hope of breaking him out, but perhaps I can help from the inside. Thank you, Petronius. In the meantime, we have 40 frightened Christians who must get out of Rome at once. 40? Where are they? Oh, my. Well, they're, they're not safe here. Uh, come, I have just the place. The soldiers will never find you here. We've buried our family members in this tomb for five generations. Come, come, there's plenty of room for everyone. That's what I'm afraid of. Water! We need water! Tell me where Tacticus and the other Christians are hiding. We don't betray our friends. Perhaps thirst will change your mind. Philo, I don't want to die. Quiet, Vasilis. Everyone is scared sometimes, Vasilis. Why, even Peter was scared after Jesus' arrest in Gethsemane. He was? Yes. He was so frightened that when Jesus was taken to see Caiaphas, the high priest, Peter followed behind, afraid to be seen. Peter stayed in the courtyard with the servants, warming himself by the fire. Caiaphas questioned Jesus about his teachings. Witnesses told lies about Jesus, but these men could not even make their stories fit together. Why don't you answer? Why don't you defend yourself? Why do people say all these things against you? Once and for all, are you the Messiah, the great deliverer? Are you God's son? I am. Ah! We don't need any more witnesses. You have heard the terrible thing he has said. They all voted that Jesus was guilty and should die. You were with Jesus, that man from Nazareth. I don't know what you're talking about. This man is one of those who followed Jesus. No, I'm not. Of course you're one of them. You come from Galilee. We can tell by your voice. I swear, I don't know this Jesus you're talking about. Before the rooster crows twice tomorrow, you will say three times that you don't even know me. I'd never betray Helena and the others. Me neither. I know, boys. I know. The place is filled with thieves and smugglers. Who better to smuggle us out of Rome than a smuggler? Come on! Zach, you watch the kids. I'll be right back. Don't worry, Anna. My dad used to hire circus hands at places like this. Just act natural and nobody will bother you. That much for the girl. I need a house slave. Sorry, she's not for sale. I say she is. 
Actually, she's going cheap. A real bargain at only 200 sesterces. Shake? Oh, uh, excuse the. Achoo! <laughs> An old trick my dad taught me. <laughs> hey, where's my money? <laughs> but that's three times the going rate. With all due respect, shipping fugitives is risky business. Fortunately for you, I'm the best. Very well, but we'll need to leave tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? That's impossible. We'll never be ready. I thought you were the best. All right, then. We'll sail at midnight. But don't be late. Ben, what happened to Jesus after Peter lied about knowing him? He was taken before Pilate. His courage was amazing. Silence, Baker. As long as he deludes them with these stories, they think they'll be saved. But take the Baker away, and the flock is lost. Our faith is stronger than that. But not stronger than Rome. Soon you'll know the wrath of Nero. But first, you'll know mine. The Praetorians will find Tacticus and the others. Why should we die too? We can't turn them in. Philo was right. Ben said we don't betray our friends. Well, Ben's not here. But if he was, he'd tell us to be brave just like... like Jesus was before Pilate. What do you know of that story? Well, just... just tell it to me. Only louder. I... I know that Caiaphas, the high priest, had made up his mind that Jesus was dangerous. He decided it would be better to execute him than for everyone to be punished by the Romans. But only Pilate, the Roman governor, had the power to order an execution. The religious leaders told Pilate that Jesus called himself a king. Are you king of the Jews? Those are your words. The temple leaders brought many charges against Jesus. They said Jesus was raising a rebellion. He told people not to pay taxes to the emperor. They said he wanted to start a war with Rome. Pilate was surprised that Jesus said nothing. Haven't you anything to say? Why don't you answer these charges? At the feast, Pilate used to set free any one prisoner that the crowd asked for. At that time, there were some rebels in prison. Their leader was a man called Barabbas. We ask for Barabbas! We want Barabbas! We ask for Barabbas! Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Would you like me to set free the king Barabbas. free? Barabbas! Give us Barabbas! Free Barabbas. Then what shall I do with the land you call king? Give it to a cross! Crucify him! Crucify him! But what awful things has he done? then ordered that Jesus be flogged. Hail, your majesty. Hail, king of the Jews. They led him out to be executed. Justin is right. Through all of it, Jesus never faltered. He never gave way. Justin, you did it. I, I did, didn't I? Ben's gonna be so proud of you. This will never work. It has to. Halt! Rowing slaves for Senator Petronius, huh? This isn't signed by Nihilus. Nihilus? Since when does he have... Fine. I mean, fine. You can explain our delay to Nero himself. The senator's seeing him tonight. Ben the Baker, son of Simon of Galilee. 
You are accused of being a Christian leader, of inciting anarchy and rebellion, and of... We all know what the charges are. Treason, treachery, sabotage. <laughs> you find this amusing, Senator? Yes, surely this is a joke. Are we to believe this pudgy pastry maker is the daring rebel who has outsmarted Rome's bravest soldiers? I doubt he can bend down to tie his own sandals. <laughs> A word of advice, taste less, bake more. <laughs> I tell you, this baker is the man. My dear Nihilus, you'll make Caesar the laughing stock of palaces from Gaul to Egypt. Huh? Release the baker at once! Wait! Caesar, ask him. Just ask him if he's a Christian leader. Sire, is that necessary? Why embarrass the court any further? Oh, formalities. Very well then, Baker. Are you or are you not a Christian leader? Yes, I am. <gasps> huh? I knew it. I knew it all the time. Despite the preaching of our gullible Senator Petronius, take the Baker away and kill him. Move him out. Let's go! We'll miss the tide! Wait! There's one more! Helena, I'm afraid I have bad news. Ben's been sentenced to death. He has two days. Don't worry, Helena. We'll think of something. We always do. Woman! We must cast off now! We're staying to help Ben! Then so are we! No, Tacticus. You're in more danger than any of us. We'll meet you at Malta, then leave for Shamhadar together. Take good care of Anna for us! We better be going. The task ahead of us is nearly impossible. You there. Come out or taste this cold steel. Friend or foe? Fortunately for you, friend. An old friend. <gasps> Zemo? Cyrus, it's really you. It's Zemo, the magician from my parents' circus. Imagine their joy when they see you're still alive. They'll be in Rome tomorrow night. Anna, Helena, did you hear? My parents are coming to Rome. That's great, Cyrus. Cyrus, what is it? What's wrong? It's Ben. He's been like a father to me since the Great Fire. And now he's in prison. I tell you this. If the man who's kept Cyrus safe all this time is in danger, then Cyrus's parents, the great Saban and Risa, will stop at nothing until he's safe. And neither will I. There's more hope tonight than I had expected. Come on, everyone. We've got plans to make. Yeah!